Final day in New York before we fly home. The view isn't that bad. It's kind of interesting. It's a multi-level view, but room, you did a good job. We gave you a 7.5 out of 10. It's staying a 7.5 out of 10 after I slept. And hopefully, today, we're gonna continue with what we said we were gonna do. New York helicopter rides. Fingers crossed there's a space available. God damn it, I almost left behind my $6 bottle of water that I accidentally opened. Well, no going back now. This is about to be the best water I've ever tasted in my life. What the fuck? I wonder what this place sells. Hmm. Turn it up on a Sunday. Okay, we made it to Central Park. Well, I was gonna be the best tour guide ever and be like, Central Park, it's just trees, but it's fucking not. There's like a massive park over there. There's a baseball park as well. And I, I just genuinely thought it was just grass and a place to ride bikes. Psych, it's not. There is much, much more. Well, Central Park was exactly what I thought it was. A place with trees and shit. Well, that was pretty awesome. I was just sat here editing my vlog from yesterday and like watching it back and make sure it was all okay and everything. Like completely zoned out. And someone just like walked in front of me and was like, and I was like, Hello? He was like, are you syndicate? I was like, yeah. I was like, what are the chances that like, for me to bump into you guys is crazy enough, but imagine for like being the person who ever bumps into me, like I could be anywhere in New York, anywhere in the world right now, and the chances that I happen to bump into one person that watches my videos is fucking nuts. So, good say, it was a pleasure to meet you. We're getting the bike back out, boys. We're getting the bike back out. Sweet. Well, I made it to St. Paul's Cathedral. I think it's called St. Paul's Cathedral, either way. This as well was a GTA. <laughs> Everything about the city is just GTA. Nonetheless, very nice building. So walking around Central Park was, it was nice, but it was too majestic. We needed a bike, so I didn't want to get ripped off by them guys over there like, oh, $20 to ride a bike for a fucking hour. I was like, go oh, fuck yourself, mate. This is $10 for 24 hours. So anyway, got this. We're going to go check out the park in style now, like a proper person should do. <laughs> Honestly, my favorite thing about New York so far is these bikes. Pick them up, 24 hours, $10, ride around the entire city. So good. But like for $10, why would you not do this? You get to see the entire park. You, like I got to the top and bottom of the city in about 20 minutes riding around on this bike. It's perfect. I'd like to be in a horse-drawn carriage. That'd be pretty sick. But if you're on your own, well, I won't be on my own. I'd be, I'd be with Bay. <laughs> It'd just be pretty sick. Check it out. Oh. Mate, smoked him, smoked him off. Well faster than him. Yo, dude, what's the uh, what's the horsepower on that thing? <laughs> you get it? Hot? No, okay. This is awesome. I found the uh, boating lake, and you got like all these big guys with like these, you know, really nice boats. And you got this one kid who's got a speedboat and he keeps riding it into ducks. Who is attacking the ducks around here? Also, look at these two over here getting their wedding photos done. So cute. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's declaring war on the ducks. God, God speed. May Lord have mercy on your soul. I knew I'd find it. There it is. I knew I'd find it somewhere. There it is. The famous bridge from all the movies. You've seen it in probably every single film ever. And now I'm part of history. Whee! Now I'm in it, ma'am. Be proud. Oh, fuck. We've been defeated. Shit. <laughs> Aggressive. What the hell is a Google Express? Here we see a wild Casey in his natural environment vlogging. I hope it falls off the mount and he drops it and breaks it. Oh, they come in. Oh, here they're coming. Here they're coming. Oh, come on then. Oh, work it, boys. Work it. You're on a catwalk. Right, do you want the good news or do you want the bad news? The good news is you made it here. Do you want to know the bad news? You know these rental bikes? There's none north of Central Park. Sorry, boys. You're walking. My mind is blown right now. Literally. What are those? <laughs> They're amazing. We return to Ginger watching. <gasps> there he is. He's in the wild. He's found us. I just challenged Deck to the best race ever. There's a subway there. I was going to film this house and I saw the subway. They're going to get the subway and I'm going to race. Are we going to go to that next one? Wait, let me find out. We're gonna, I, we're going to race to a city bike place to see if they can beat me by the tube if I can beat them by pedal bike. You want to go? Yeah. Want to go? Beat you. Going down? They're hungover, by the way, just for the record. <laughs> But um, the challenge is on. Hopefully, if we can get rid of the bikes later on, I want to go on a subway as well. Yeah, eight, eight I've not been to on seven. It. Eight to seven. I'm going to 87th Street. Three, yeah. Let's go! Go fuck yourselves. You've lost this race already. All right. Three, go two, on. Go 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 on. Go
Oh yeah. Yep, you almost got hit by a car, you idiot. I'm so gonna take my time. I'm not even gonna race. I'm just gonna be like, this is a really nice bike ride. Dex gonna get like, <laughs> I'll be like, good day. Don't mind me just being Mary Poppins. What? In the park? Yes. All right, we're going to 87th Street, you said? We're on 96th. We've got quite a way to go. Let's do this. Maybe I should get on the road. I probably could go faster. Yes, we should do that. Oh, fuck. 87th Street. Subway. Entrance. Okay. Exit even. This is where he should. Technically. Technically. Wait, what? This is some bullshit. I was waiting outside the exit for the train station. How did you get out? Did you come out of there? We just teleported. Nah, did you TV. come out of that one there? <laughs> no, downtown subway was shut, so we jumped a taxi. <laughs> no, you didn't. Really? <laughs> yeah. Do you see me then riding along? No, I was trying to look for you. Cheating yeah. bastard, you got in a taxi. You actually got in a taxi. How much your taxi cost? Two dollars. Fucking <laughs> bastard cheaters. <laughs> Fucking gingers, man. That's why people know they don't have souls. They lie to their friends. $500 reward for a dog. Mate, I'm gonna go stealing dogs around New York. I'm gonna be well rich. Does that house there not look like the one out of Stuart Little? Yeah. Is, is it the Stuart Little house? I think it might be. Oh, childhood memories. Don't mind us, we're just being majestic. Majestically majestic. Where are you? I'm gonna end up dying. We're majestically <laughs> majestic. Ma <laughs> Dude, I know, if you drop your camera, uh -huh. That is wait, I'll get out of the way. Are too slow. I know. If you if you crash with that, that is ripperoni pepperoni. If I drop my iPhone, I've got insurance. But you don't have insurance for that, do you? No. God, that guy's killing it with speed. No. Oh my god, boys. We're, We're picking up some speed. Oh shit boys, I'm running a red light. Go, 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 go. No one will know, no one will know, no one will know. Not even two hundred thousand people who watch this video. No one will know. Watch a park ranger see this and like arrest me. Yo son of a bitch. We located a target as to where we're gonna go take some selfies of the lake. Let's go. Target acquired, not deck. All right, target acquired, I mean, this beautiful place, isn't it? Yeah, it's so nice. Look at this. To say this is in the middle of a city, this is pretty damn incredible. We've got a couple spooning over there. Fall trees, we've got a wild ginger with a hat on. And we've got a couple taking photos of that. Oh, adorable. Oh, that's when we're stealing our bike then. He's just dropping off his. Yeah, this is really nice. Oh my god, I feel so outdoorsy right now. Uh, uh, I'm allergic to this shit. Hey guys, Casey here. Check out my fucking rig. This is insane. God, Casey carries this around all the time. This is stupidly heavy. Mad effective though for like range and like, so it's not close to you, too close to your face. But, my god, carrying that around with you all the time? Mad props. Casey's got them gains, them muscle gains, that's all I'm saying. Wait a minute, are we in Venice? That looks like a goddamn gondola to me. What? The fuck? Tom, what are you doing? No, dude, dude, turn the camera, turn the You guys know you're impressed by my shitty acting skills. Yeah, Deck, bring the sugar <laughs> and a spoon so I can stir it, or a stirring stick. <laughs> Fucking fog. This is why we're not friends. Deck just dropped an absolute bomb, so I've told you guys loads of times. The way I met Deck, is I was in a plane and it was like these really like just kind of noisy kids and, and everything but I just kind of figured that one of them was talking about me and then I was like man you know I'm probably just thinking about it but then he tweeted a picture of the back of my head to me whilst I was sat on a plane so I saw it so obviously knew he, he like watched my videos and everything but then that's how we met like four years ago yeah. and he was just going back from a flight from New York and it's so four years later we're here in New York together chilling out crazy a genuine good guy and good friend it's just a shame that when I met him, he looked brown haired and then I realized he was ginger, so like, I'm just gonna throw this hot coffee all over his face. One sec. Well, I saw a load of people, so this must be somewhat cool. Oh, there's the famous ice ring. Oh, okay. Well, that is so nice. Oh, I'm in love. A wild, majestic seal of his. <laughs> Not exactly wild. <laughs> it's just this a, is kind of weather, It's the it? elusive seal. Oh my gosh, I've traveled all the way to see this thing. Whoa, look at it go. Oh my gosh. Just Zero. look at it sit there doing nothing. Impressive. Oh, what's up, Deck? You're getting on bashful. He's FaceTiming his girlfriend and she blew him a kiss saying goodnight and he's refusing to do it back. Oh, go on, Deck. No. Go on, a kiss. <laughs> go on, Deck, Declan. Go on now. Go on. Look what I'm having to be Come on, Declan. There has to be something wrong with this cycle lane. 
It's fucking bumpy as bollocks. The bay has been returned. You served me well. It was an amazing adventure. Dude, them bikes are the best. They're so fucking good. No worries. High fives. High fives. Camera deck, deck high five. Majestic thing here. She's she's showing up her skirt. Whoa, her tits are hanging out. Whoa, fucking blur this shit. This is what you call gridlock. This traffic is going nowhere. Look how fucking tight they are together. <laughs> Madness. Whoa. Kind of crazy. Got rope around and everything. We made it to the airport and that might be the best sunset I have seen in a long time. There's no skyscrapers or anything, but tell me that that is not fucking beautiful. So this is the airport queue. It's pretty damn long, but I got a story. Just started chatting to the guy at the desk who printed my ticket. Super nice dude, like proper down to earth. Just got chatting to him about New York. And he's like, you're a nice guy. And he just randomly gave me priority, <laughs> priority boarding. So I could just like walk straight to the front and rip this like 45 minute line and then just go and chill out at my gate. What a good guy. I will say, I appreciate the, uh, the offer of the guy putting me through priority, but it actually turned out to be slower. Damn, karma. I don't know, like I got something good and it ended up biting me in the ass. It actually took twice as long like I saw someone go into normal boarding and I went to priority boarding and they got through twice as fast as me so I don't know man everything happens for a reason I ain't complaining I would have been stood in the normal queue anyway so it's whatevs oh my god you know the song like we tweaking ho tweaking ho that's the dance move fact we could honestly have not have afforded to miss this flight to get me back to LA it's not boarded yet which is a good thing but we could not have afforded to miss this if I would have missed this this would have fucked over my entire trip to get me. Oh wait, maybe we have started boarding. I don't know, but this would have fucked over my entire trip to get me to Russia. Wait, have we boarded? I don't know, let me find out. The answer is we haven't boarded, got half an hour to chill out at the gate. Then we get on it, it's a four hour flight. There's no TV or anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my phone, load up a full episode of Gotham, like just press play and, and wait, just let it wait so it fully loads, get on the plane, watch it, and then try and fall asleep on the plane. I should stay awake, but it will be 3 a.m. New York time when we land in LA, but it'd be like midnight in LA time, so yeah. I get home, sleep, and then at five o'clock tomorrow, I'm flying to Russia. And that's a 12 and a half hour flight. Oh. Might possibly be the most interior designed plane I've ever seen in my life. It is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck on this flight for four hours and Ted 2 is available. Hell fucking yeah. You guys probably won't be able to see it, but there's a crazy thunderstorm happening outside. I'm trying my best to film it, but you really cannot see it. It's too damn dark. Oh, damn it, we need more exposure. See? How cool is that? I successfully... Why, why is there music playing here? I don't know. I successfully managed to reply to, honestly, probably about 400 comments on the flight, which was good. I might not seem like a lot, but trust me, doing each one on an iPhone and sending it and waiting for it to send and then replying to another one. It took, it, it was like two hours worth of replying, but we're about to land, I'm just gonna use the toilet and the bathrooms. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be in LA. And then tomorrow, we're gonna be on a 12 and a half hour flight to Russia. Woo! I've always wanted to try this. Connected, press the button. <laughs> Such a waste. As you can see, we're 146 miles from where we need to go. Los Angeles, here I come. Finally home time. Oh my gosh, I am tired as fuck. It is currently 3 a.m. New York time. So, yes, I am ready to go home. Yeah, we'll check out first class. Thank you. Woo! I'm absolutely starving, so I ordered a shitload of food. I am very, very hungry. It's going to be such a bad day. It's going to absolutely taste like wank. Well, hopefully, it might be okay. We'll see. To be honest, most of the food reviews you see me guys do, I always just go, wow. So that's what I'm expecting to do right now. All I know is that I'm gonna get home, go to bed, and 
uh, wake up at like 10 a.m., go shopping for a suitcase, get back, pack my bags for Russia, and then we're going to the airport to go to Russia, basically. So it's going to be a long old day. A very long day. It's going to be the longest flight I've ever taken in my life. 12 and a half hours. What? Like I said, when I ate that food, before I ate it, I was like, I'm gonna eat it and feel like shit. It was really good, but it had so much salt in it, I now feel like a fat elephant. Honey, I'm home, and just from leaving my PC on, no monitor, just a PC, the apartment is 83 degrees. This room in my office is frigging on Fire, I'm surprised I didn't build down the, burn down the building complex, but I needed that on in case I needed to access my PC. But, honey, I'm home. I ate that KFC. It was actually, uh, not KFC, it was Burger King. It was actually really goddamn nice, but there was so much salt in it that I'm now just like, blah. Got to get all this. All this has to fit into a new suitcase tomorrow for me to be able to go to Russia. Mother Russia. But I'm going to get in bed. This is my favorite thing about the entire apartment. You might be like, really? Not the AC? Well, yeah, the AC, but piece of furniture or anything like that. This bed is heaven. It's absolute heaven. So I'm going to wrap myself up in it and pass the fuck out, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget, I'm going to tell you guys now, you've only got a few more days to enter to donate $5 to charity. $5 minimum, which is like $3, £3.50 or something in the UK. Last chance to enter, click the link down below. It'll take you to prizeo.com com forward slash dot com uh, forward slash syndicate. And if you go there, donate five dollars, you enter in to win the trip to New York that I'm going on in like a week. So if you want to get flown out from the world anywhere, donate, enter. The more five dollars you donate, so you donate fifty dollars, that's ten entries. Donate as much as you can. It all goes to charity for motor neuron disease. So it's for a great cause, you can't complain. And uh, hopefully it'll allow me to potentially meet one of your guys' faces. But thank you very much for watching the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever trip to New York City. I had a blast, it was so much fun. But I'm going to bed, I'm very tired. Leave a like rating if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to see more of my face. And if you want to be a beast, share it. Share it with your friends. And I'm thinking of starting using the hashtag. We're carning it, it's mine. Hashtag life of Tom or the life of Tom. Should we either do the life of Tom or life of Tom? Leave a comment down below which one I should use, but I want to start using that as a, a hashtag discussion for the vlogs because sometimes people like tweet me about my gaming stuff, but I want a hashtag just dedicated to the vlogging channel. So leave it down below and we shall decide. Bedtime!